I'm Mary Morris with Virginia 529. We're pleased to partner with CBS 6 to bring you Battle of the Brains, featuring some of the sharpest minds in Virginia. Every dollar you save for college is one you don't have to borrow. With Virginia 529's variety of savings and investment options, one is sure to match your budget and saving style. Learn more about how you can tame the tuition monster and open an account online at virginia529.com. Now, let's get back to the action. It's time for Battle of the Brains. Welcome back to Battle of the Brains, presented by Virginia 529 College Savings Plan. Here are the scores following the first toss-up round here on Battle of the Brains. We've got Cosby High School with 40 points and Colonial Heights High School with 30 points. And we'll get back to our questions and match just ahead. First, we want to introduce you to today's players. Let's start with our team from Cosby High School in Midlothian. They are the Titans, coached by Marsha Borden. First up is Morgan Coltrane, who is a senior. Morgan hopes to study aerospace engineering when she gets to college. She's a member of the Math Honor Society and enjoys creative writing and reading. Our team captain is Zaid Alina Zaidi, who is a senior. She enjoys art and field hockey and plans to major in biomedical engineering. Next up on the team is Sebastian Blot. Sebastian's a sophomore who enjoys speech and debates, volleyball and soccer. Would like to attend Columbia University and Columbia Medical School. We wish you luck with that. And our last player on the Cosby team is Natalie Fraustet, who is a sophomore who enjoys reading, hanging out with friends. She likes theater and she enjoys pet sitting. She'd like to earn a double major in history and archaeology. That is our team from Cosby High School. So good to have you all here with us today. Now let's meet our team from Colonial Heights High School in Colonial Heights, Virginia. First up, Emmanuel Sanson. Emmanuel is a senior who's currently working as a tutor and portrait photographer. He enjoys playing piano chess and writing. He wants to major in astrophysics and philosophy. Our team captain for Colonial Heights is Morgan Erner, who's a senior. Morgan is the captain of the Colonial Heights Marching Color Guard, really enjoys the arts and plans to study biochemistry. Rylan Waller is a junior who's a member of the marching band, enjoys history and science, and is considering studying engineering in college. And wrapping up our team is Hendrix Harris, who's a junior, is an aspiring author, plans to get a college degree in creative writing. We wish you the best with that, all of you, with your future endeavors. Now to our category round, where each team will select one 10-question category from today's choices. If a team gets all of its questions correct in the allotted time, they'll receive a 20-point bonus. Teams, here are today's categories from which you may choose. They are U.S. federal agencies, bureaus, and commissions, biological terms starting with M and computer homonyms. And we do note that in this round, only the captains can officially answer for the team, though they may confer with their teammates to try to come up with the correct answers. The high score team gets first choice of category. That is Colonial Heights. So Morgan, quickly talk it over with your teammates. And I'm sorry, that is Cosby is the high scoring team. Thank you, uh, Judge, for letting me know that Cosby is the high scoring team with 40 points going into this round. So, Alina, if you'll quickly talk it over with your team. Alina? Physical terms? Computer homonyms? Uh, no, biological terms. Biological terms, all right. Give the following biological terms all beginning with M. The first is cell division into two daughter cells. Uh, the answer is mitosis. Correct. Shedding of an exoskeleton. Oh. Here, guys. Nope, pass. That would be molting. Muscle protein binds to actin. Uh, the what? answer is myosin. Correct. Mammal that bears its young in a pouch. Oh, the answer is marsupial. Correct. Imitating a dangerous or poisonous species. The answer is mimicry. Correct. Any change in a cell's genome. The answer is mutation. Correct. Organelle that produces ATP. The answer is the mitochondria. Correct. Phylum of snails and clams. Mollusks? The answer is mollusks. Correct. Symbiotic relationship in which both species benefit. 
The answer is mutualism. Correct. And finally, change in body form when a larva matures. The answer is metamorphosis. That is correct. And nine out of ten in your category round. Good job by our team from Cosby High School. All right, Colonial Heights, your category will either be U.S. federal agencies, bureaus, and commissions, or computer homonyms. Morgan, what would you and your team like to play? We would like to do computer homonyms. Computer homonyms. Okay, I'm going to have to listen closely. We've got some echo on you. Given an unrelated clue, give the computer term described by the following. The first is a horse's mouthpiece. Pass. Okay, that would be a bit. A thin fried potato slice. A slice? That would be a chip. A male sheep. A goat. Pass. That would be ram. A waiter or waitress? A server. Server is correct. A spider's trap? A web. Correct. Type of giant lizard? Python? Monitor. Navigate a car? Drive. Correct. Brand of canned lunch meat? That would be spam. All right, that's our category round teams. Up next, another toss up round here on Battle of the Brain. Stay with us. What is a dentist? A dentist is someone who brushes their teeth, it's a guy that keeps your teeth nice and healthy. How many teeth do you have? Probably 24. I don't know. <laughs> What is an orthodontist? An orthodontist is like, they like do braces and stuff like that. That's right. We do stuff like that and so much more at Western Pediatric Dentistry Orthodontist. enjoying Battle of Brains. I'm Mary Morris with Virginia 529. What are your plans for higher education? How are you going to afford to send your loved ones to college? With Virginia 529, you can give the gift of education to yourself, your child, grandchild, or another loved one. Open a Virginia 529 account online today and start saving. It's never too early or too late. Find out more at virginia529.com. Welcome back to Battle of the Brains, presented by Virginia 529 College Savings Plan. And here are the scores following the category round here on Battle of the Brains. Cosby High School with 85 points, Colonial Heights High School with 45 points. And now it's back to Battle of the Brains and another toss-up round. Again, questions are directed to teams this season. We're alternating between them. Any member may answer by raising their hand and waiting to be called upon. There are no point deductions for any incorrect answers. Our first question this round goes to Cosby High School. Cosby, water's abnormally high boiling point can be explained by which weak bonds that form between electric Electronegative atoms and what lightest element? Alina. 
Hydrogen. That is correct. Colonial Heights, what New York City department store started its famous Thanksgiving Day Parade in 1924? Heather. Macy's. Macy's is correct. Cosby. It's pitched in B-flat for tenor, E-flat for alto. Famously played by John Coltrane and Maceo Parker, named the woodwind instrument most commonly associated with jazz, rock, and concert band. Natalie. Saxophone. That's correct. Colonial Heights, it is one of the most storied football programs in college history. A museum dedicated to football coach Bear Bryant is located on its campus. Who is the current coach of the Crimson Tide, the University of Alabama? Nick Saban. Cosby, peeling an onion releases acids that mix with the vegetable's enzymes to form a gas. When that gas mixes with water in your eyes, it creates what specific acid that causes a burning sensation? And that would be sulfuric acid. Colonial Heights, Veritas Vos Liberabit is the motto of Johns Hopkins University. According to this Latin phrase, what is it that will set you free? Emmanuel. The truth. That is correct. The truth will set you free. Cosby High School in 1940, President Roosevelt authorized the creation of the Office of Strategic Services to coordinate the nation's spying activities. This organization was the basis for what current federal agency headed by William Burns? Alina. The CIA. That is correct. All right, Colonial Heights, please watch your screen and listen closely. Here is your video question from a member of the Battle of the Brains, Brainy Bunch. Named after the English Queen Anne, which town is the home of Virginia's official oyster festival? Rylan. Annapolis. It's, a, it's actually Urbana. All right, Cosby. The 1960s band The Yardbirds spawned three guitarists who would go on to great individual success. Jimmy Page, Jeff Beck, and what third member, nicknamed Slow Hand? That would be Eric Clapton. Colonial Heights, this May 1942 World War II battle was fought entirely by planes. Name this battle in which opposition ships did not see each other and prevented Australia from being isolated. It's the Battle of Coral Sea. Cosby, the Better Business Bureau is celebrating its 110th anniversary in 2022. What symbol is featured on the organization's logo? Natalie. A torch. That is correct, the torch. Colonial Heights, used in cooking, what wire, metal, or plastic device full of small holes is used for draining liquids from foods? Morgan. A colander. Colander is correct. Cosby, you may need your pencil and paper for this one. There are 650 seniors at Central High School. What percentage of the seniors are girls if 351 of the seniors are boys? That would be 46%. And that buzzer means one more toss-up round to go, and we'll have today's winner here on Battle of the Brain. Stay with us.